Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Papa Sean and we are looking at V-Rock. So if you have um, finished the summoning that was done when you met Ember, or if you haven't met Ember, you probably want to load back and get uh, get over to Ember. She's going to be located right around here at this burning building. There's going to be an entry. Oh, I apologize. It's actually uh, going to be where, where you can go into the house over here. All right, so if you're looking at the map, that little into the house, that's where you're going to find Ember. That's where you're going to find the summoning circle that you can finish. And if you do, you'll have V-Rock out here. And we can't leave uh, a demon running around wild, right? So hopefully this helps you in, in your questing line. Uh, we're going to battle V-Rock next. And here we go. So why don't we send in Ares? Because not that you're disposable Ares, but uh, everybody else is a little less <laughs> disposable. Alright, so the, the team's going to attack V-Rock here. Why don't we throw a few spells its way? Wolf is not doing so hot. I'm going to follow him back, get him a little health potion going on. So if you were looking to populate your health potions in, you can just click on them and it'll fill the spots here in your belt, at which point you can use them in combat. So same thing with Chameleon. We're going to go ahead and just click on those, throw those into the belt. And we're doing real time, not turn based. Probably want to switch over to turn based. To do that, there's a little castle icon here at the bottom. Turn based will allow us to have a little bit more fine tuning on the attacks. We are using uh, some radiant attacks here. Well, Jeff, uh, yeah. V, v Rock's tearing it up. He just took out Camellia. We're coming in into this a little bit tired, having used most of our. Uh, stuff earlier on, all our spells and things, so we're just kind of using what little we've got left, hoping it's enough to take down Mr. V-Rock. Our sneak attack, Wolf is going to come in here. Ooh, 24 damage, so he's level 3, and he just put a whopping on that V-Rock, so if you haven't gotten Wolf, check him out. Uh, if you look over at Wolf, we've kind of equipped him out with uh, two special items. We've got the Finian, the talking weapon. All right, so Finian's here. You can uh, pick Finian up in the quest line for Wolf, and then we've got the Claw of Jiska, and uh, that's an item that we picked up. Uh, I thought it might show here where we picked it up. I'm forgetting offhand. I think that that was uh, a reward uh, from a little bit earlier on. But let's go ahead and see how we do against them. We got Nino. She's got some spells still on her hands. She's got this Create a Pit. All creatures, good and bad, are going to take damage. So we don't want to hit our friendlies, but we can throw it a little bit behind. And that'll end Neo's chart. Well, I guess she can still use her attack there. That's cool. All right, so we're going to do what? A, let's try a little acid splash on V Rock. And this one's going to miss. Okay. So Sila's taking a beating, but she, she's got quite good, uh, good AC. She's going to do a potion. Probably want to throw a few more potions on her belt. Uh, with that, we'll go ahead and do an attack. And swing and miss. All right, we have a little companion pipe fox here. I'm going to go ahead and see what that, what that does. This is a little less than ideal. Uh, we've pretty much used all the spells. This is a divine zap, radiant damage, so I imagine that's probably pretty good against a demon. <laughs> Turok has done one damage. All right, you're up, Wolf. Let's get that sneak attack. Twelve, and then another twelve. He's almost got him down. That's twenty-four damage again from from Wolf. Pretty stout. All right, let's go ahead and do a magic missile this time. All right, wasn't a whole lot of damage from that. It failed to overcome the spell resistance. So it looks like the magic missile, even though it's a definite hit is not always going to beat past the spell resistance these guys have. Uh, we do have a Cure Wounds here. Uh, why don't we go ahead and cast that from our wand onto... Well, or not, because we're going <laughs> to end turn before that actually happens. Alright, we are currently doing a, a fighting defensively. That's giving her a little extra chance at dodging. We're going to do a double potion, and that'll end her turn. Keep her tanking. Alright, we'll just keep that radiant damage. Not a whole lot from her, but Wolf is taking it home. And that's the end of V-Rock. Alright, so let's see what we get. 
absolutely nothing. But we did get experience and we did have the opportunity to kill V-Rock as part two of uh, finding and completing the Summon Circle. Alright, well thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, happy questing.